Hello and happy Tuesday. I was hoping that I was going to get back on video podcasting this week, uh, but my computer is not operating the way I like it and my ghetto setup is ghettoing. So I'm still sticking with audio. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to stay consistent with the video cast, but I'm still going to bring you the same level of podcast awesomeness that I usually do every Tuesday or at least try. You know, you know the deal. You know the deal. Today, I want to talk about our confidence. Confidence in ourselves, confidence in our ability to handle stressful situations or unknown situations or difficult situations. Confidence that we can do it, whatever it may be. I feel like a lot of us go through life with a certain level of doubt that we can't do something, that we don't have the ability to do it. And I know this is going to sound super cheesy, right? Because everyone says like, oh, you can do it, you can do it. But in the moment, that doesn't really help because all you're thinking of is how the fuck am I going to do this, right? How the fuck am I going to make this work? How? Why? When? When it's just a matter of applying yourself and having the confidence to do it. Sometimes the how isn't all that important. And the reason that I say that is because typically the how is not, there's rarely ever, we could try, but there's rarely ever a laid out path, steps one through five, how you're going to do something. We can try, it's like the, uh, you know, you can plan a pretty picnic, but you can't predict the weather kind of thing. Laying out a map for how you want to do something right, is ideal, but we need to understand that that how that steps one through five is going to be a very flexible type of deal. It's going to be very flexible and okay. I know that I said step two would be step two, but maybe I'm going to have to move that to step three and change step five to step one. And, you know, we're moving things around, right? There's a bunch of moving pieces. But the fact of the matter is, is that a lot of the times we are figuring things out As we go along, crossing that bridge when we get there, crossing that threshold when we get there, and learning about ourselves more and more as we go through things. You see, when people say that shit just works out, It really is true that shit just do be working out. And I know that's not grammatically correct, but that's how I feel. Shit really do be working out in the strangest ways. In ways that we never really thought they were going to fucking work out. It's like... Every single year, there's like a huge plot twist of like, whoa, never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that that would happen. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It's a toss up. But when it comes down to the confidence that we have in ourselves and our ability to do things, it's very important. I know last week I spoke about, you know, choosing how you obtain certain things in your life and the paths that we take to get to those certain goals, right? When we have the confidence in ourselves, when we build up the confidence in ourselves to be able to do certain things, shit just works out. Because you take more risks, more calculated risks, You do things even though you're scared. And you just fucking figure it out. Along the way, pushing your shoulders back and putting your head up 
and having the proudness in your voice ring out when you say, I got this shit. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I got this shit. And that's what's important. That confidence of like, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I have no idea how I'm going to figure this out. But I will figure it out step by step and tackle one problem at a time. See, I think a lot of us get wrapped up in, oh shit, how am I going to do this? Oh shit, you know, I don't know if I can do this. Oh shit, you know. Tackle one problem at a time when you embark on a journey of how to do something or trying something new or taking a risk and, you know, doing that thing that you've never done before because you feel like it's going to get you closer to what it is you want for yourself. Just fucking trust in yourself that you'll be able to make the certain judgments necessary to be able to walk that path and walk it well. And if you slip or trip along the way, you just dust yourself off, you get back up and you keep going. As long as what makes sense for you, because, you know, you might try something and realize "Mm, it's not for me, right? And in that case, then we're, you know, try something else. But, you know, having the confidence to try things, having the confidence in yourself to realize I can do these things. And then on the flip side, having the confidence. And I spoke to my friend, my dearest chicken nuggies. Um, We were talking about confidence and what we deserve in ourselves and for ourselves. Having the confidence to stop ourselves. This is, this is in romantic or friendship uh, based relationships, right? Where you are able to confidently stop something in its tracks and walk away. Like, listen, no, this isn't going to work for me. So I'm going I'm to head out, right? And that's okay. Stopping things in its tracks and discovering, when you discover the moment that you discover, this shit ain't working out for me. And it's okay if that shit doesn't work out for you because we live in a world with infinite choices. Infinite possibilities and different paths that we can walk and go down and, you know, different doors that we can open. But having the confidence in yourself to decide what it is you want for yourself and then going to get it for yourself is going to make all the difference in the world. Having that confidence for yourself is going to determine whether you take the risks necessary to get you to where you want to be. And I'm not saying it's easy. It's not a one, two, three step process, right? It takes time to build up confidence, but it's not impossible, even if you have the lowest confidence. And I understand there are a lot of people in their lives where they have been surrounded by nothing but people telling them that they can't do something. Surrounded by people beating down their confidence just because they don't have it themselves. So they need somebody else to be down with them because that's usually how it works. When you have somebody that you're faced with spouting negativity towards you, telling you that you can't do something, that you're a failure, that you're not beautiful, that you're not talented, that you're not intelligent, when you have those kinds of people in your face all the time, yes, that is going to wear on you, especially if it's a loved one in which you have confidence in their opinion for. And I'm not saying that they do this on purpose. A lot of the times it's unconscious. They don't, they think that they're watching out for you the way they wished somebody might have watched out for them. Because they might have failed at something that they tried. The only difference is that they are in the state of giving up. And you are at the stages of beginning. See, we always have the choice to keep going. We always have the choice to keep moving forward. We always have that choice. It doesn't matter how many times you lose the race in your mind, right? Because... The only time that you truly lose is when you give up, when you stop, when you lose confidence. You you can take little breaks here and there when you feel like you're not moving and things are stagnant. You can walk away, you can revisit, you can put a pin in it, but don't give up. Continue to have the confidence in yourself 
to understand that you can do that thing, whatever that thing is. Remember in my I am episode, I am. Work on your I ams every day. I am intelligent. I am driven. I am confident. I am. Whatever that I am is, right? As long as it's positive, I am. Because we're at the stage, right, where we're trying to cut out negativity in our lives. And some people aren't ready, might not be ready to hear that. Take your time. You get there when you get there. This is your path. This is your life. This is your journey. You need to walk it at your pace. When it comes hand in hand with building your confidence, you also can't expect to compare yourself to people that are on different paths at you, moving at a different pace, um, pursuing something entirely different. Refrain from looking over at people with envy for their situation and recenter on where you are on your path, where you are walking it. You know, there's been several times in my life where I have stopped and I feel, fuck, I am a failure. I don't feel like I'm doing enough. I don't feel like I am exerting enough energy or exerting enough confidence in, in my ability. And it has cost me my friends. I can tell you. And I'll give you an example. When I had my art show, I had a buyer, a potential buyer that wanted to see my pieces. Of course, I don't have a gallery and I don't have a place to show to do private showings. And I remember for that art show, it like everything that could have possibly gone wrong was going wrong. And I did not, I mean, this, this man turned out to be a professional time waster, but some part of me feels like if I really did prepare and put my chest in it and put everything that I could within it, I could have sold that entire collection. I ended up did not selling it. The, the guy ended up lowballing me and then he ended up canceling altogether when I sent him the contract to sign my pieces over to him essentially. And it was a heartbreaking moment for me because I went from, oh man, I'm going to be able to pay off the debts that I accrued curating this collection or creating or putting together my collection to oh fuck he he lowballed me this collection is worth way more than that to fuck I wasn't confident in you know my pieces and what they were worth and now look at me and then I felt like fuck you know maybe I should have done this maybe I should have done that there's been a lot of shoulda coulda wouldas in my life where I didn't take the risk because I didn't feel like I was up for the task or up for the job or up for the challenge because I didn't have the confidence in myself. But these experiences that I'm, that I share with you on a daily basis of little, little, uh, tidbits of my life here and there where I had the chance to learn. I'm sharing with you the idea that I'm moving at my own pace and I'm learning because these situations in which I felt like I failed, right? turned out to be very valuable learning lessons in my life. They, they turned into learning moments where everything I needed to learn, I learned because at that juncture in my life, I hadn't had a chance to go through it, so there was no way that I could be prepared for it. Don't give up on yourself. Even if everybody around you seems to be giving up on you, do not give up on yourself. Because you do have the capacity and the ability to apply yourself, even if it's the most difficult, most foreign thing ever to you, something that you've never tried before. Do it anyways. Try it out. Don't give up on yourself. Because I'm not giving up on you. All you, all you listeners out there, the alava that I love because you guys are awesome anyways that's my little that's my little uh, confident uh, podcast episode for this week anyways come back listen to this episode when you're feeling down I don't know listen to it like 20,000 times share it with people that you love that you feel need to hear this message I love you guys so much I'll see you next week bye bye now <laughs>